we're not at Walmart anymore. We went to Sam's and I spy with my little eye a big red bus. So I see this as an opportunity to give back and give my blood to people. Get Genki. Yaho YouTube. I am super Genki. Welcome back to my channel. This is one of those good daily updates. And yeah, we're just in the area. We're at the Sam store over there. I don't know. It's a big novelty store. They sell a bunch of stuff. It's like Costco, only it's called Sam's. And I was walking around waiting for my parents to come pick me and my little brother up and I saw the Big Red Bus. The Big Red Bus, One Blood, is a company that donates blood to people that need it. If you're eligible to donate, I highly recommend going and trying to give blood to people who need it because it's just, it's an experience. And it's tough. We all see these buses all the time, especially if you live on a college campus. You'll see these buses all of the time, but we think to ourselves, why would I want to give my blood to someone else? Why would I want to spend my time donating? Why would I want to do this? Why would I want to do that? It's an opportunity to do something that's outside of the norm. That's how I see it. For a long time, I didn't. I just saw these buses and thought to myself, yeah, someone else is gonna do it. But then, my friend Manuela really encouraged me to donate blood and kind of forced me to do it. But I'm really glad that she did. Because I did it once, I'm much more apt to do it again. Taking an opportunity for the first time, doing something for the first time is always gonna be a little bit scary. But once you take that first step outside of your comfort zone, once you do something once, it always becomes easier to take that same step, that same opportunity, the second time around. So I just finished all of my medical checks and all the questionnaires and we're ready to donate. I donated last time in April. You can donate every two months. And yeah, we're getting excited right now. I haven't eaten a lot before I'm about to donate, but we're gonna see how we feel afterwards. We're gonna see if we have any energy to even make a YouTube video about the experience afterwards. But, wish me luck. One blood, one arm. Let's get together and donate some blood. One blood, one arm. Let's go to the red bus and donate some love. Let's go to the red bus and donate some blood. One blood, one arm. Let's get together. Yahoo YouTube. I'm Super Genki and I just finished donating blood at the big red bus. So it's been around two months since I last donated blood and it's different. I don't feel as tired as last time and I actually don't feel that different in general. This is a good opportunity to give back to the world and it may be small scale, it may be only three people, but helping three people is a lot more than helping zero people. So I recommend giving it a shot. If you haven't tried donating to One Blood before, I think on their website they have donating locations in your area. You have to enter the postal code and they'll give you a bunch of spots where they do this stuff. And look, see this is my my wristband because they told me Blank. If you're scared of needles, maybe not the best way to spend a Saturday, but if you want to overcome your fear of needles, it's a great way to overcome those fears. So I'm about to go home, about to make the rest of my Walmart try on haul, and I gotta get some food as well too. Important to note, if you want to donate blood, make sure you eat a full meal at least an hour before you donate, because energy-wise, your body needs a lot of energy to recover from the loss of blood. But it will recover. For me, this time around, I just ate some samples at Sam Goods because there was no like healthy food choices and like I was not gonna get like a 16 inch pizza because eee, why would ya? But definitely recommend eating beforehand. You can get some food, some snacks, and some drinks while you're actually in the bus afterwards. I got a blue Powerade. It helped out, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, there's another plane over there, look. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the video for today. If this video helped you out, if you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel. Subs really, really help me out. 
leave a comment. I love seeing the comments because I love interacting with you guys. And most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to spread the awareness of positivity and the good word of positive thinking to as many people as we can. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. One blood, one arm. Let's go to the red bus and donate some blood. What about the plasma? One blood. What about the platelets? One love. Let's go to the red bus and donate some love. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's go to the International Mall after donating blood, because why not? Do take the opportunity. Take the opportunity to step outside of comfort. I never go to malls. I never go to malls. And because I'm here, because I was in the area, yeah, because I was in the area, I went to a mall. Look at that. Get Yankee. Hagen does. Hagen does. No, I can't. Can't do that. I want a six pack. I'm not gonna lie, I have been hearing that daily vlogs are over. Like, the time for them to be on YouTube is already done. But if you want to do something, if you want to make a certain kind of video, if you really want to put your ideas out there, you need to be willing to do it not to get famous. To do it because you love it. Because if people see that you love something in your video, then your energy, your feelings, your passion might be able to reach out to them. And very interesting, haven't been to a mall in literally months. Months. Never been to this mall. The International Mall, I believe it is. Pretty nice stuff. It's a novelty item. Get Genki, everybody. Remember that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you will always have the opportunity to do something new, to do something that's outside of your comfort zone. You just have to be willing to take it and the circumstances surrounding that opportunity are usually gonna be the reason why you don't do it. Like, if I didn't donate blood, I definitely would not have come to the mall today. But it was in the area, circumstances were right, we needed food, we just donated blood. Get Genki, everyone. If this video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button. It would really help me out, believe me. They really do count. Leave a comment. I love replying to your guys' comments and being positive. Subscribe to the channel. Subs is my main goal. Subs is my main goal. We want to get to 100,000 by the time I'm 25. And share it with your friends. We need to get the good word and positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.